Good morning everybody. Michigan ice fishing. Today we're uh, we're fishing perch. Yesterday we fished perch and today we're gonna fish some more perch. Um, just got set up. It's a beautiful day. Got a little bit of snow last night. Made the roads a little slippery but we're here safe and we're fishing. So buckle in and uh, let's see if we can uh, knock some perch out here. That'd be fun. Boy, I'm not working this, this, it's not working today. Lame. Take two, three, whatever. What? Are you freaking kidding me? Hit that. Well, this one just keeps nosing it. He just don't know. Doesn't look very big though. I mean, he's one, two, three, four. Yeah. It's got six stripes, probably a nine and a half. He just needs to move on because uh, he's just sitting there eyeballing it and he ain't doing anything. Give another perch a chance. Don't be, uh, don't be greedy. Move on. Here comes another perch. He looks a little smaller yet. Darn it! Get out of here. I want you. I want your brother. Your big brother. It's recording, so you'll be able to see it. You see what I see. Come on, fish. I don't want you. You're a dink. You're just a little guy. Get out of here. Get. Alright. So. That being said getting dark. Walleyes are wanting to move in. They're wanting to do something. This walleye is so small that all he's going to do is just eat my minnow and pump. Yeah, there was probably four or five perch down there. But none of them were committing. Weird. And then all of a sudden, this one, that one that I caught, came in. And... Took control of the situation. Okay, I just cut myself. Boy, they're being they're being aggressive today, folks. They're moving around. Nine, probably a niner. Oh, little stinker, I see here. Do the old hand thing here. Close enough. <laughs> I love eating perch, so. So it's a little small. I'll eat it. There's a fish down there. I just caught a small one, but then he got off. And then a nicer one came in. <laughs> and it happens. It happens. Well, he just... That perch just stole my bait. I'm using a tiny little eighth ounce all natural Northland tackle spoon they seem to like it seems to be working pretty good so I put a minnow on it a live minnow
like so, and then I send it. Send it down with a perch jar. Where's my, where is it? There it is. Oh yeah. In the goods. In the goods. I put it in a rod holder. And then uh, wait for a nice perch to come through and put the wackadoo on it. All right, guys, we'll talk later. Camera's back on. It's perched down there. It's not very big, though. Get lost. Yeah, he's just a little, he's a six striper. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's uh, being persistent though. He keeps it up and he'll get hooked. Got some little ones in the area now. Jota's priest. Get out of here. It's a nice thing about having a camera. Is you can kind of gauge what fish are down below you. Even in shallower water because this is pretty murky water. And then having to bend down and, and look over your hole every every step of the way is just not uh, not very fun. It's kind of uncomfortable. Boy, he put the whack on that. He just got the head too. He probably took my mana. He took my mana. He come in on that camera and it's I keep them I keep them away from the little the little ones and then a big one comes in and. You know what happens next. Hook up, unless they don't bite, you know. But right now, today, they're biting. And uh, I'm liking that. It's rather fun. Yeah. Fun. Oh, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. Back to fishing. <laughs> Fish. Maybe. Oh, boy, this one that just came in, it sure is. Oh, come on, hit it. Hit it. Oh, don't be scared of it. It's your friend. It's your buddy. It's your... Maybe it's not your buddy. <laughs> Mumbling now. It's been a long day, but it's been fun. We'll keep at it. Fish on. Oh my god. It's got perch laying everywhere. God, there's some. Those are big. Those are big. Got another perch. Oh, that's a good one too. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, well. My hands wet from digging for some dead minnows. You ask, well Mike, why uh why do you need dead minnows? 
I use my ow ow I just poke myself I use my dead minnows on my uh, my jig front hook remember uh, front hook I have to remember front hook is a good thing put the head right on the front hook and send that thing down there and catch fish at least that's the plan Just changing different methods of jigging. This jig that I have on has got a uh, little bit of a rattle to it, so I want to get, get a little noise down there, a little vibration. Sometimes that can trigger fish. I just got a nice walleye. This is number two. Oh shoot. Ooh, he's a feisty little stinker. Feisty little stinker. Okay, I got him. He ain't going nowhere. Yeah, nice fish. Probably 1920. Nice fish. Um I totally blew it on the underwater camera. Yeah. Not good. But uh Still got a nice fish. It was fun. Can't wait to do it again. Tight lines, everybody. <laughs> Trying to get you guys some footage. Some video action here. Had one come in. He looked at it. Wasn't overly impressed with anything. Wasn't the one that I caught. He was. He was active. He was like wanting to smack something you know and he was he was an active one I, I when they come in like lethargically you can just forget it chances of getting that fish is slim to none they come in with a little bit of an attitude now Ooh. we like those fish we like them Coming to my left. Coming from my left. What does that mean? It means fish to the left. I'm not moving. Anyways, guys, good talking to you. My name is Mike Campner, and uh, thanks for watching my videos. And uh, please subscribe and all that good stuff. I'm not begging. I'm just asking, you know, if you want to. I'm going to try to put as much content on YouTube and some of the other uh, platforms and try to give you some good quality uh, fishing videos. So, quality meaning catching fish. Me, I, I don't do this. I'm not, a, I'm not an actor by any means. I'm just a sick fisherman. Tight lines, everybody.